Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Ticket Thursday where I will be showing you real-world IT tickets and how to fix them. So in this episode, I'm going to be showing you one of the most requested ticket videos which is the most common IT tickets that we encounter at work. And I will be showing you the most recent and most common issues that I have dealt with at work for the past two months at least. But I'm not including printers in this video because I already made a video about the most common printer issues. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so in this video, I will probably show you the top 5 most common issues and tickets that I've encountered recently. And when I say common tickets, these are what a lot of people have been experiencing. The same issues that are showing up on the ticketing system in our tickets. And also a disclaimer first that the tickets or the issues that I'll be showing you might not be the same for other industries or companies. So please don't expect that it will be the same for any company or IT role that you will be doing. Hey there. Hey. Sorry to bother you. Can you please unlock my okay. account? Sure. Just give me a minute. Let me just open up the system and look up your username here. I just changed my password and forgot it. Yeah. It's really tough to think of a really long password. Okay. I just unlocked her account. Let me know if I need to reset your password, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. The password reset is probably my favorite ticket or issue to fix because it's really easy to fix and a lot of logins now are SSO. So if you reset a password for one account, it's tied into every other account. Okay, so let's move on now to the other most common tickets and issue that I got recently at work. So the Outlook issues have been happening a lot lately, especially the past few months. So that's most of the tickets that I get at work. And these are the real world IT tickets and how the users actually worded their issues and tickets. So let's get started, of course, with the highest priority in here of Outlook not updating. Let's check on this one. So it says, hello, I just came back from vacation and my Outlook isn't updating on my computer, but it's working on my phone. So I've seen this happen quite a lot, especially if you are changing your password or you haven't been opening your Outlook. Sometimes it doesn't sync with the computer and it works on your phone, especially if you change your password on your phone. Sometimes the Outlook app doesn't really synchronize right away with the phone or the web browser or the cloud. So the common fix that I do is to have the users re-log into the Outlook app itself and 90% of the time it fixes the issue. So when I was troubleshooting these Outlook issues, I really like to see the person and go to their desk to see the issue in person compared to remoting into their computers because sometimes the Outlook issues are not the same for every person or situation and a lot of times I need them to sign out, sign back in and they need to enter their password and it's really easier to talk to people in person than giving them instructions through email chat or calling them. So the first step is to click on the file tab on the top left on the Outlook app. Then click on the office account at the bottom left. Then it will show all of their account settings in here and just click on sign out and it'll then ask them to log in again with their email and their password. So if the user just changed the password, this just makes sure that the Outlook app is taking the new password so it will synchronize with the server because sometimes it doesn't synchronize because it's still stuck with the old password. That's why they're not getting the new emails. Okay, so let's move on to another Outlook issue. This issue seems a little urgent too. Outlook crashing. So let's look into this. And the user said, anytime I 
open Outlook and try and send a new email, the program shuts down and attempts to restart. The only way to working through email is off the web version, which isn't showing all of my emails. I tried logging into a different computer since I don't have this issue at my normal desk, and when I logged in at the computer across from my desk, it seems to only have the issue there. So this user has a permanent desk that he uses most of the time, but then he was asked to move to a different desk temporarily for some reason, maybe covering for another staff. So it's his first time logging into this computer and Outlook isn't working properly. He said that it's crashing and when he opens a new email, it just closes. So this issue is not as common as the first Outlook issue from earlier, but I also have seen this happen to like two or three people, especially when they are logging in to a computer for the first time, because sometimes Outlook isn't set up properly in the settings. So the fix that I've done for this actually worked 100% to all of those people having this issue. So for this issue, you can also try to see if re-logging into the Outlook app itself works. But if it doesn't, we can move on to plan B. So there is also another way to check the email settings and that is to go to email and accounts under the system settings. You can also search for it on Windows. And then this window will show up and normally there should be an email account set up under the accounts used by other apps. So when I check the user's email settings, there is nothing set up there. So the next step will be to add his work email so it'll be properly set up for Outlook. So you can just click on add work or school account and it'll ask you to type in your email and password. Okay, so for the next ticket, it's still Outlook ticket, surprisingly. And let's see the Outlook not deleting emails in here. Okay, so the user said, hello. I get a lot of emails daily and I always delete them, but recently I haven't been able to clean them up. When I delete them, they come back to my inbox. So this is another common issue with Outlook. Sometimes when people are getting too many emails, it's hard to delete all of them because sometimes they get stuck into the deleted items folder because Outlook app can't catch up with you deleting the email. So I also have seen this and Sometimes the issue is with Outlook itself. Sometimes Outlook app has errors and sometimes it's your profile that is corrupted. Also, that can be causing this issue. So there are different ways to solve this issue. There's an easy one and there's another one that needs a tool and it takes longer to fix this because it will scan the entire profile and Outlook app. So first thing we can try is to purge all of the emails on the deleted items folder just in case there's too many. So make sure to select the deleted items folder and click on recover deleted items from the server. And then you can click the select all and make sure to select the purge deleted items and click on OK to purge all the deleted items folder. And if that didn't work, we can also try another method. Okay, so Outlook has a repair tool that is available for free and is already installed in your computer and you just have to locate it. So the tool is called ScanPSC and it can be found under Program Files, Microsoft Office, Root Office 16, and it is already available on your computers if you install Outlook. And when you double click on it, it will open up the repair tool and it will automatically populate your email address and you just have to click start. And it will do its thing, it will scan the Outlook account and sometimes it takes a while if the account is big so it depends on the size of the Outlook account. And once it's done scanning, it will show how many errors there is if there's any and you can just click on repair and it will do the repair for you. And this method worked for the ticket that I had and after scanning and repairing it, the user was finally able to delete from her deleted items. It's like 90% of the issues or the tickets that I have every single week for the past few months is about Outlook and it's just been so frustrating and annoying because it's not the same issue for every person and I wish we could just move to a better software that 
really won't have this syncing issues or this app issues because Outlook on the web is really working properly, but the app is really problematic. So it's just so frustrating and annoying, especially to users. Okay, so for the next issue, let's look into the voicemail pin reset. And the user said, Hello, sorry we had too many failed attempts at the voicemail box because we forgot the password. By the time we remembered, we were locked out. Is there a way to reset the password for this so we can access it again? So this is also a common issue with the voicemail pin because not everyone access their voicemail all the time. So this is also an easy fix and this would also depend on the phone system that you're using. So what I'll be showing you may not be the same for your company, but just to give you an idea on what kind of common tickets we get. So we use Cisco Unity for our voicemail system and it's pretty straightforward. Just look up the extension number of the user and you can just change their pin there okay so for another ticket it's the speaker issue so let's look into it okay the user said hello the speakers on my computer in my office don't work correctly and not coming out of the correct output okay so just a quick backstory for this situation so the computer that she has is a laptop and she has a docking station in her office that connects to the speaker so she takes her laptop home and brings it back to the office so she disconnects and reconnects the laptop to the docking station and what happens is windows is changing the settings of the speakers to play on the monitor speakers instead of the actual speakers on her computer so whenever she reconnects to the office that always happens so the user is not very techy and probably couldn't figure out how to switch it back to the original settings so what i had to do is i just disabled the monitor speaker so windows will never select that for the speaker settings even if she reconnects her laptop so for this, I open sound settings and under output, I clicked on manage sound devices. And it will show you all of the output devices available, including the display monitors. And you can just tell right away which ones are monitors because it will say display audio. So just click on the monitors and it'll show you two options, test and disable. And this is where you can disable it. And you will now see all of the disabled output devices. So when I went down to the computer, this is what I saw. And I've seen this a couple of times already from the people who are doing what they're not supposed to do and clicking on things that they're not supposed to click. Viruses and it is infecting Microsoft servers. Please call support immediately and do not shut down or restart your computer because it will spread. And of course, when the user sees this, they will panic because it will say that they have a virus and they can't click on anything because this is just taking up all of the screen. But this is not a legit virus or a threat and it's just causing panic and it's like a scare, more like a scare tactic. Because if it's an actual virus, our antivirus system should have caught it already. And believe me or not, some people would actually call the hotline in here. So this one is an easy fix. Usually you can just hover over the top and it'll show like a close button or you can press escape and it'll show you the browser. It will bring you back to the browser and you can click on stuff again. Okay, so that's it for today's episode of Ticket Thursday. I hope you learned something and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.